hello welcome to my flash tutorial for um how to make a tween project one part one to start your project select flash file action script 2.0 action script 2.3.0 is not an update it is a different kind of code we will use action script 2.0 Before we go any further, I'd like to explain what we are going to do. We are going to make it a, t um, a tween. This is where it will say play. When you click play, a circle will move across the screen and then morph into a different colored square. First, let's select our stage background color and make it something different. Good, a silver background color will be good. Now let's cr click the create layer button a few more times. Now we shall name the layers. Name the first one scripts. Name the second one labels. Name the third one tweens. Lastly, name the fourth one background. Now let's make sure your frame is set at 30 frames per second. Select a good color. Select the square. Um, Tool, and then select a color, a good color that you would like your background, of course. Keep choosing till the color is suited. Oops, make sure your stroke color is off. This time would be, now you should select your square and make it the size of the stage, which would be 550 by 400. Make the X... Now would be a good time to save your project and convert um, the background into a symbol. Make it a movie clip and name it background. Now let's lock the background layer so it doesn't get in our way by clicking that square right there. Good. Now, as you see, it will not bother us. See? Look how our background is the background we chose but the inner square looks like that that is why we did it this way Our future work will all be done on the tweens layer from now on. So select the timeline and drag down on all layers and press F6 to create a new keyframe. Click on the beginning keyframe and type in beginning. menu. Remember, frame, um, 
Labels are case sensitive. See now it says beginning, but oops, we cannot see it. Let's extend the frames as far as we can before we can see it. Very good, much better. Click on the text tool. Draw your text and write. Make the size bigger. Make it bold. Oops, we are on the wrong frame. Good. That frame should be much better. Let's make it play right here. Good. This will be a button as we will later turn it into. Select the arrow tool and press Control B to break it apart from the text format now into separate letters and again to make it into a complete sh mere shape of the letters. It is now no longer officially text. Press F8 to bring up the symbol window. Keep it a movie clip and name it play. Good. Oh, here's the difference. Here's how it looks now. That's how all symbols look. Now name it play BTN. Under dash BTN. This is the instance name, not the name of the whole symbol. It is very individual. And remember, they are case sensitive. Name it twins. Extended. Now, make a new set and for 30 more frames. Good. Make even a new set of frames after this. 30 frames after that. Select a color, a good fill color that you would think suitable. See it as a shape. We must now um, make it a symbol. Delete those new keyframes. Make it a graph. Be sure to do that. Put those new keyframes back now. 